Hold it! He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. Oh. All right, y'all, Reese, I'm out of the morning show. Gary has the D and the color of the day. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. According to the Hollywood Reporter, Lee Daniels publicly apologized to Monique, y'all. They're saying, y'all, that this shocking reunion comes after 13 beautiful years, honey, after the Oscar-winning actress and Daniels and Precious, y'all, executive producer, Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry black la- blacklisted her because she refused to campaign, y'all, for the film for free, y'all. Now, they're saying on Friday, Mr. Daniels unexpectedly joined the comedian at her Monique and Friends April Fool's Day with the Queen of Comedy Honey Show on Staten Island. They say he ran up to Monique on stage for a long, long, heartfelt hug. And he said, I love you, Itch. And she said, I love you. And he said, Itch, I love you more. And then Daniels responded without skipping a beat, honey. Please tell me that this ain't no April Fool's. And she shook her head. This is so doggone real. She said, this is so mf and real, honey. She said, you and I along, honey, with some other amazing people made magic. And I don't ever want to lose that magic again, honey. And they're saying with an arm still wrapped around Monique's shoulder, honey, as she started to cry, baby. Lee Daniels finally offered the long-awaited public apology for their falling out, honey. It was so touching, Ricky. She said, sometimes Man. in life, honey, you get caught up, Mr. Daniels said. He said, I'm so sorry for hurting you in a way that I did, y'all. He Jesus. said, and she was my best friend, my best friend. Y'all think that Precious was just? She said, that was God working through both of us, unquote. Oh, wow. wow. That, that's, 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 that's powerful, good. Gary. That's yeah. powerful. It's very powerful. Yes, honey. That is 13 years later, y'all. But they're also saying, y'all, that um, that Deadline is reporting y'all, that Monique isn't just burying the hatch with Daniels. She's also, y'all, reunited with Netflix, honey, to star in Lee Daniels' upcoming thriller, Demon House. They say she's going to be replacing Octavia Spencer, who had to drop out of the project due to scheduling conflict with her Apple TV series, Truth Be Told. So now Monique going to be working, too, and, honey, she's going to be... um. They did made back friendship, but she's gonna be working with a bunch of good people too. They said in this um movie, they said um it's gonna be um how y'all say her name? Arjane, Arjane Ellis. They said Audrey Day, yeah, and Audrey Day, Caleb McLaughlin, and they say so many more people. They say, honey, Lee Daniels didn't hit the jackpot. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yes. congratulations! So I'm so excited about that uh, the opportunity for Monique, and uh, shout out to her for sticking to her guns. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, and and it takes a big person to apologize and admit, you know, when they were wrong and 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 making the correction. And I just yes. hope they do many films, uh, many movies, and TV shows and whatever. And uh, Monique is back, and God bless her, and I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yep, thirteen years later, honey. So congratulations to Monique, y'all. All right, moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Cardi B, baby, this girl and deleted her Twitter. She because people was dragging her, saying because she did not, honey, go to the uh, to the Grammys, honey. She tweeted, "I'm deleting my Twitter on God, honey. I hate this dumb mess." Um, stuff. She said, honey, you got the slow people dragging my kids all because y'all thought, honey, I was going to the Grammys and I didn't. She also said that when did I hint it I was going first of all? She said, y'all just stupid. I just can't. And she said, I need to protect myself. Then prior to deleting her Twitter, one fan wrote, I bet your son wouldn't like for you to be on your... Oh, Jesus. Some choice well, words. Do, do she owe anybody an explanation no. for not going to the Grammys? No. That's what did I was wondering. Wow. I guess some of the people think she should be there because she's a big um, Grammy winner and okay, a big that's recording fine, artist. Gary, you know how it go. If you ain't nominated or you ain't presenting or nothing, then ain't nobody from the label or nobody helping support you to pay for that. Do you know how much it costs for this lady to get ready and have to go? She got to get hair, makeup, outfit. Them outfits ain't cheap. It's at least a ten, fifteen thousand dollar budget for her to have to go or more because she got to take a daughter. Maybe she, she just take... didn't want to go. Maybe for a little Period. while. She's getting a break. She's working on a new project. She'll be there next year when she's oh, nominated. Oh, maybe you just want to lay at home with and play with your kids and don't feel Thank like going. God. You can't get Getting on a damn there. plane and got to speak to that person, speak to that person and, yeah. and getting in at 3 o'clock in the morning and out the party and that got long to go show. To the party. Yep. Commercials, a uh, uh, bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but when we buy, You gotta be in the mood for that. Ooh. Yeah, but when we're buying your music and stuff like that. We need to see you there. We need but, to see your no, guy. But she's a new mom, Gary. 
Mary. She got and, another new baby. She's married. And she's still a human being. She's a huge superstar, but she's still human. And to Ricky's point, maybe she just wanted to stay home and be with her family. Well, and you she know what? Not go through all of that. If they didn't ask her to perform or present or nothing, then why would she go? Yeah, well, but I the Grammy I enjoy uh, watching award shows uh, in home. the bed with the covers Ooh, yes. pulled up over my shoulders, tucked in bed tight, and just just hit the remote control, and the night is over. Mm, yeah, okay. but Ricky, y'all think y'all missing the Instead point? Of the you Grammys? got some fire, some fire la- laid over there. Roll, you roll up on. <laughs> yeah, well, y'all know the Grammys come every year around this time, just like Christmas does. You should have planned for it to be there. So, honey, I'm oh. sorry, that's just not acceptable, honey. She should have been there what so you? her fans could see her. Yeah, I know that. Did you like we see her on fans. social media? Christmas they time giving out toys. So can talk to her on social media too. Yeah, well, she didn't upset a bunch of people. I know her record sales gonna probably decline now because she was not there. So we need to see, honey. The only person don't have to go that. is I'm Beyonce. <laughs> Say what? Beyonce, the only person that don't have to go to these things, honey, because Beyonce is different. Cardi B, honey, <laughs> we don't know her like that. We know Beyonce. What? Oh we my do God. know her. You the head boy. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you've been smoking this weekend. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce can stay home. Okay. <laughs> the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, y'all, is coral rose. On the high end, you say coral rose, and on the low end, you say beautiful orange.